The name's Josie. I'm a coffin maker when one needs making. These days, though, clientele are a bit thin on the ground, or under the ground, as it were. It's the sheriff's old dueling ban. But fluster not, now that he's gone to his sweet everlasting, I got in mind a foolproof plan. Head to the gambling hall. Sure as the dead lie still, where there's dice, dueling ain't far behind. The gambling hall, where crooked folks played crooked games. Vault Hunter knew that for better or worse, they'd find trouble there that needed sorting. Put me down! Gosh darn you to ruin Trump, William! Someday you'll pay for this! That's how they met Slim with his backside in the sand and beat half hollow. Vault Hunter decided to lend a hand, seeing as they were already in the neighborhood. I think I busted my dang coccyx. Drink up! Oh, I think I spotted it. Mighty obliged. Those fellas are as loose as a noose and twice as twisted. They took my money and tossed me on my behind. I defend myself, but my shooting hand's about as steady as a snake with two rattles. You've already got a gun? That's great! I'll teach ya. You got bullets too, right? My brothers pulled that one on me when they first taught me dueling. Heck, I'll do it if it means I can settle my score with Drunk William. And I know just the place to practice. Follow me! Slim's daddy, Lightning Luke, was something of a local legend. When Slim was born, he was a spitting image. Now he's all grown, except for the spine. Most everybody was tickled they could kick Luke's boy around, but if anyone's got dueling in the blood, it's Slim. Sometimes I sneak back here to enjoy my drinks in solitude and safety. There are some bottles lying about. Maybe you can show me some of that sharp shooting of yours? Just give those bottles the old woofer. Go on! Don't that beat all? You're a damn fine shot, friend. How'd you manage that? I'll be honest with ya, I'm not really sure myself. I just go with what feels right, you know? Whoa, what a thrill! I'm feeling fresher than a two-mint julep. How'd I do? Listen, I'm going to come right out and say it, and I'm going to be brutally, savagely honest, because I care about you. And it's the only way you'll learn. Your shooting... could use some work. But you did your best, and you had fun, and that's what matters! Wow, that's the nicest thing anyone's ever said to me. But what if Drunk William shoots me? Wish I had some armor. Slim wasn't about to cross irons with Drunk William with nothing but stitches and sand to keep him standing. Vault Hunter knew they'd have to find some protection for him if they wanted him to grow the stones for a duel. <laughs> Safety first. Might not stop a bullet, but it might make a man think twice before shooting. Perfect! I'm gonna go get ready for the duel before I forget all the training! Boy, if my papa could see me now, my first duel, my fingers are all in fits, I tell you. Ain't no turning back now. I'll wait here while you go tell that no good, low down, lousy, lack wit drunk William that I'm a calling him out to duel. Drunk William liked to think he was the toughest mother son this side of the sand, the type of fella who'd chew the fleas off a skag and ask for seconds. But someone needed to put him in his place. Which is to say, an unmarked hole in the dirt. Whether Slim had the grit, though, well, that remained to be seen. <laughs> you should have seen the look on. Of... Oi, William! You drunken git! My boy Slim is waiting outside to duel you. If I were you. I change into me brown britches. What? Slim wants to duel me? Ha! <laughs> All right, I could use a laugh. You tell him I'll be right out. Drunk William was ready for a fight. 
Nothing for the Vault Hunter to do but tell Slam to get ready. Ready as he could get, anyhow. In case you forgot, my name's Slim. My He's coming. Whatever happens, I want you to know I'm proud of you. You're basically my son at this point. And I can't watch you die. You hear me? Don't you worry about me. I've never felt better in all my years. I was born for this. I'm headed for glory. Wait, my head. My head's better than old Pete's domicile. Quick, give me something for my skull cap. Good enough. Toss it up there on the old thinkerator. Golly, my brains are locked up tighter than Granny's pearls. Now I've really got a leg up on drunk William. Wait, my legs, quick! Enough blathering, Slam. Let's get to blasting. Bounty hunter, you ring that bell over there so I know when I can finally kill this sloppy SOB. We draw at the sound of the bell. Fine by me. May as well hang up your holster already, drunk William. While you were drinking with your friends, I studied the woofs. <laughs> <sighs> <sighs> Well, don't that beat all. Slim survived, but only just. And they only found his feet with the Vault Hunter's help. Looks like you could use a pick-me-up. Ooh, that kicks like a three-heeled hot damn! But I'm alive! I feel like there's lightning in my veins and thunder in my throat. Next time someone's fool enough to take me on, I'm gonna write my name in their blood. Ain't nobody gonna call me the son of Lightning Luke no more. Y'all can call me Slam Thunder. My boy! My badass boy! I am so glad you survived. I mean, I never doubted you. Except for most of the time I've known you. Ooh, there's a new killer in town. Y'all better believe it. Huh. He survived? Well, come on back, Bounty Hunter, so you can get your coin and I can get to work building boxes. I'll be right here. <sighs> well, I don't know if Doolin's gonna catch on like it used to, but the more folks killing each other, the better my business booms. Besides, if this town's gonna survive, we need the roughest roughnecks to know their way around the irons. It's just survival of the fittest, that's all. Till next time, bounty hunter. You see that, Hina? I told you some kind-hearted gunslinger would help me up. Thank you kindly. All this twisted ankle needs is a shot of Doc Stanley's Miracle Elixir. Got some extras in my shed. Go grab me one if you would. Leave him to his troubles, gunslinger. My bloody blister of a husband's addicted to that Charlatan Stanley so-called Miracle Elixir. Might as well throw our money down the crapper. Now, Hina. Doc Stanley's Genuine Miracle Elixir. Well, I'm sure that's a load of Coswallop. That's the one! Bring it back! And thank you kindly. Now I'm gonna pay you for your trouble. But first, give me that cure for what ails me. 
well-being, here I come. See, Hina? Good as new. Wait, what? Oh, no! Ah! Elon, no! Damn it. Can't rightly believe I lost another husband. <sighs> I tried telling the fool that elixir was hogwash, but there ain't no cure for stupid. Yeah, I know, he just died, but facts are facts. Damn you, Doc Stanley. We gotta destroy his whole operation so ain't no one else widows by spontaneous combustion. We'll start by taking out his raw materials. There's a pump in his arm. Well, he's got providing liquid core for his elixir refinery. How about you take it out? And so the Vault Hunters set off to sabotage Doc Stanley's whole operation. Stands to figure that a crook like Doc Stanley would partner up with the Devil Riders. No doubt they were getting a cut of the take. Doc Stanley's been preying on sawed brain folk like my late husband for too long. Let's increase the pressure on that pumping wheel and cut off his supply. Oh, But the Vault Hunter weren't satisfied with only blowing up some of those wells. So they did what came natural and set out to destroy the whole place.
bad dude. Again, you impress me, my dear gunslinger. Now that we've cut Doc Stanley's core supply, we gotta destroy his entire stock. Head to the refinery. <laughs> Way I figured, if he's got no inventory, he can't prey on desperate idiots like my late husband. May the sand take his stupid soul. Doc Stanley produced his miracle elixir at old. Company refinery equipment. But there was nothing refined about his operation. Now, let's take the fight to Doc Stanley by using his own damn elixir again. Find some so we can get this explosive show started. Job well done! Only it's not working. Oh, come on, then. It just needs a bit of encouragement. Do what you do best. Light it up and watch it burn! Ain't seen that much fire and chaos since the bloodbath at Kingsinetta <laughs> Gulch. That two bit con artist just got a taste of his own medicine! Job ain't done yet, though. Keep at it. Now that Doc Stanley's elixir inventory is gone to ruin, why don't you go ahead and destroy all his refinery equipment so we can't produce any more of that trash? <laughs> what the hell is happening out there? Executive sales team, assemble! We've got saboteurs among us! Bang! You shot me down! Hey! These bullets are. Hey, whoever you are, listen up! I never met a customer I couldn't buy off or reason with using money. Come on over and let's chat. Done, hunting! Have a sip of the sun. Perfectly good day! Screw it! Whatever your quarrel, friend, I got the cure. How's a lifetime supply of Doc Stanley's miracle elixir sound? I've probably drunk worse, but I think I'll pass. Ah! 
First time I've ever refused a strong drink, come to think of it. Well, well. We got ourselves a negotiator. Okay. Okay. I've got just the thing for you. Here, catch! Can't say I'm distraught over Doc Stanley's demise. Plenty of desperate folks out there looking for a miracle. At least now there's one less miracle hawker on Gehenna. But if I know one thing, it's that miracles don't come in bottles. Now, can I interest you in a sample of Doc Hena's miracle grenade? I run the ranch down the way and I need some help. God dang devil rustlers are rustling all over my farmstead. They ran off my sow belly farm hands too. Now I ain't one for doula fine, so I done barricaded myself in the ranch house. If you're hearing this, I need help on the pronto. Rustlers. Leeches on the ass of polite society. The vault hunter'd be doing Gehenna a favor by taking them out. It's time to clear out those vile rustlers. Only good rustlers and dead ones with his head cut off and stuck between his legs and can smell his own mouth. I really hate that. Oh, 
Ranger made short work of them low lives. All right. Time to make sure that rancher's all right. Those creeps! You doing okay, lass? I'm good, but I barricaded myself up a bit too well, and I need an assist getting out. Well, slap my hind parts and call me for supper. A gunslinger of your caliber in my neck of the scourge? I'm sure it's spit lucky you done come along and handled them ruffians. But they ain't never gonna leave me be, long as they's tented up down the way. Mind kindly clearing out their camp? Now them dunderbucks ain't exactly what you'd call subtle. So I was figuring it shouldn't be too much of a bother to find out where they done come from. And if and you find any of my scaly darlings they rustled, send them on back to me, will ya? Thank you for all your work, <laughs> survived the struggles, and she'd be right pleased to have him back. Yes, I'd better head back to the old ranchy ranch and get me some money money. <laughs> nah, you're just kidding. They're all dead. That's just downright good to hear, Tomodachi. Knew I could count on you. Thanks for plying your bloody trade on account of my troubles. Now I got some choring for you to do if you're up for helping me out around the ranch. Now 
you went and free to fight all my scaly darlings, I got me some more work needs doing. See, one of my flock went and ate up my leg a while back. I'm saving up for a fancy robotical prosthetic, but I need some help setting up my farmer's market in the meanwhile. You'll need to collect me up some imp eggs. Harvest some teeth from them rowdy hellions. And now be careful with this one. I'm gonna have to ask you to milk Daisy. Task was simple enough, and folks in town would appreciate some nice fresh eggs. A scramble, maybe. Or an omelet if you're feeling fancy and you don't mess it up. In which case, you end up with a scramble. Time to deliver them eggs. That was some honest choring. Vicious creatures. Easy enough to knock some teeth out their mouths with a quick smash. Up. Pop to the maw and out fall the teeth. That's done, I suppose. It was a dangerous job. Not as dangerous as most of the ball I got up to. Figured that was enough of them teeth for the rancher's purposes. Time to deliver. <laughs> huh. Maybe the vault hunter was in the wrong line of work. That was some damn fine tooth extraction. Day's work never hurt no one none. Well, except for the rancher, of course. Hunter thought better at trying to put any hurt on her.
Mustang. Folks said Lucifer milk was good for you. Made you strong, strong bones, strong teeth. Also good for erectile dysfunction. That's just what folks say. I would mess up, of course. Time to deliver that sweet, sweet devil milk. With all them chores done, it was about time for a hard-earned paycheck from the old rancher. Well, shoot! You finished up already? Hot damn! I'm gonna head to town and set up my market. Thanks to you, I'll be able to afford my new prosthetic in no time. Much obliged. See you in town. Nah, you wouldn't be interested. Unless you want to get your hands on some real firepower. Are you in the market for a genuine, rarefied, bona fide firearm? Original company elite stock. Restored to its original condition by yours truly. And who am I? General Samuel Stickley. That's who! Now, I stand behind all my firearms. So if you don't think this is the biggest, baddest cannon you ever laid your twitches on, well, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll issue you a money-back guarantee! You made the right decision, friend. You won't regret it. Now, on account of the fact that it's dangerous as all ruin, I left the weapon safe and sound nearby. Well away from any innocent bystanders, anyway. I'll mark the stash spot on your map for you. Now, go pick up your new favorite weapon already! Hard to turn down a firearm that sounded so good. Vault Hunter went off to find their new bona fide iron. Oh, where's my new shooter already? <laughs> They'll be singing songs about that one. a feckin' joke. And a bad one at that. But I'll find that stickly fella for my money-back guarantee. Something didn't smell right about this whole situation. Vault Hunter went about getting some answers. <clears throat> Oi! Stickly! Come on out, you smooth talking swindler. I want my money back. That bona fide charlatan Stickley had taken the money and run. Vault Hunter set to tracking the bastard down and getting their money back. Guaranteed. Oh, 
sickly maid. No one grips me and lives. I'm gonna find you. Let's see here. I'm Stigley. I'm a real Varkid's arse. Or cloaca? Eh, whatever. Blah, blah, blah. Ugh. Something about a fort. The papers Stigley left behind seem to point to the nearby fort. Oh, a fort! I haven't killed a man in a fort since that time with the egg beaters. Listen, boyo, it was a good grift. I just want to give you a compliment. Honest! Come on out. Is somebody out there? Help me out of here! Help! Those bastards took me prisoner! Also, I'm very claustrophobic! What's happening out there? I sure hope it's a bunch of devil riders being sent to ruin. Yeah, couldn't take another minute in that cell. Thanks, stranger. I'm General Marks. Me and my militia, the Marks Brethren, have been fighting to retake this fort. But some swindler tricked me good and I ended up all locked up here. And he stole my uniform. I think his name was Dickory? Sickly? Prickly? Bastard's name is Stickly. But that won't matter soon, because I'm going to kill him. Where's he at? Well, stranger, you're in luck. He may be a smooth talker, but he's also a loudmouth. Heard him say it he was heading back to his hideout in the abandoned mines. Oh, and try to get my uniform back, won't you? Shameful to be... Around in my Sound effect of Vault Hunter might finally have that greasy little rat cornered.
Let me get that general's uniform back while you're at it. Okay, okay. Just wait. Right there. Ruin, ruin. That is just not how this is gonna go. Hey, I got an idea. Why don't you piss off? This place is tougher than a freaking bank vault. Good luck getting through here. General Marx? Found old Stickley, but he's holed up tight. Any ideas? Hmm, I've got an idea. And if you help me get revenge on that swindler, I'll pay you double what you're owed. Got an old company cannon up at the fort. Head on back here. And when you get here, we're gonna need an artillery shell to fire. Scrum around in the fort. There must be one we can use. If I were Stickley, I would have run for the hills by then. Crossing a vault hunter was like buying a ticket on the express train to ruin. But that greedy bastard was too busy counting his ill-gotten stacks of cash. <laughs>
catch up more. Brunch sometime? Hyperion. <laughs> It'll go better this time. Definitely, probably. I'd say we both have reason for vengeance, but what the hell? You want to do the honors? Ah, uh, no. Oh, no, no, no. I, could, I, I couldn't possibly. Ha! Kidding, kidding! Oh, of course I do. Load up the cannon so we can savor the sweet taste of vengeance. from I mean actually I don't but you're dead anyways oh <laughs> yeah screw that bastard um <clears throat> ain't no guarantees in life I suppose said maybe that vengeance comes swiftly to those who cross you stranger here's that bounty I promised thanks for making an old man smile You know, at first I was shamefaced to be seen in my skimpy and secret. But now it's kind of growing on me. I think it'll be my new thing, you know? The underpants general. Anyways, as for me, I think I'm getting too old for the fighting business. Even with the Marx brethren at my side, I can't retake a fort to save my life, as it turns out. Maybe it's time I settle down and open up a shop in town. Come and see me sometime. By the way, you ever tried Doc Stanley's sweet and savory nectar of vengeance? I hear it ain't exactly approved by the reigning medical establishment. Or any medical establishment. But it's got a lovely aftertaste of mango on the tongue. Just saying. lost count of the day since I was taken captive. But before I can smell the fresh air of freedom again, I need a big whiff of the sweetest scent there is. Revenge. The man who locked me up, Soapy Steve. He forced me to make all kinds of specialty soaps for him. About now he'll be taking his fourth dip of the day over in the private baths. Find him for me and I'll make it worth your trouble. You'll hear him before you smell him, and that's saying something. I've seen him combine aromatherapeutic soaps <laughs> no man should be able to survive. Soapy Steve had no idea just what kind of bag he was in for. I thought I was a pretty good for this. What? You have for this. Bang, bang, pa! Hey, what's going on out there? I'm trying to get the soaps! Oh, you know, 
Just working on a bit of creative vengeance for Nettle. So you locked me in my favorite place in the world? I hate ah, so revenge. You be Damn! He's right. Soapy Steve loves bats more than anything. Wait, I've got it. We gotta give him so much bath he'll never want one again. Grab some bath salts. Let's get fizzy. rescue and a revenge well drawn, here's a little something to add the soothing relaxation and clean feeling of a nice sudsy bath to your everyday wanderings.
As for me, I'm finally gonna pursue my lifelong dream. That's right. I'm gonna hope for the long for that. There he was, Mick Smugger, in the flesh. Evening, kid. Cowboy's just another word for a man on a horse. They call me Mick Smugger, the wisest cowboy ever to walk the land. Prove it! I want to hear some cowboy wisdom, right now! If it's wisdom you seek, the first thing you need to know is that you don't know nothing. It's time to unlearn what you don't know, kid. Damn you, McSmugger! You're so wise! I wasn't always McSmugger, the wisest cowboy ever to walk the land. I sought to know all things, so I climbed Mount Mariboshi. By the time I moseyed back down, I'd found what I was looking for. It's your turn, kid. What do you say? Nah, I'm good. Ah, uh, refusing the call, are we? I see. How about now? You know what? Why not? Then let your journey commence. And so the Vault Hunter crossed the threshold, hell-bent on climbing Mount Maraboshi. <laughs> the Vault Hunter thought about a whale for some reason. Whales! Hate them! Bastards of the ocean! Can't trust anything with a blowhole! A road of trial stood in the Vault Hunter's way. No sweat. The Vault Hunter knew the mountain wouldn't give up its cowboy wisdom without an offering. <laughs> So the Vault Hunter did what they always did. They started taking it out on the local wildlife. The hearts of badasses. The wise offering. With each badass heart the badass vault hunter picked up, the more badass they became. Badass.
A statue of breathtaking beauty stood beside the path, a countenance so majestic it could only be divine, and her voice was like strings plucked on a harp. You have traveled far, but this is not the end. I have a gift to aid you on your journey. Ah, look at you. Nice to see someone as chiseled as myself. Boom! Ha! And what's this about a gift? For you, on this, a journey worthy of a hero. Use it wisely. Or unwisely. Your call, really. Go now. Your destiny awaits. Ooh, getting close to the top now. I can almost smell that cowboy wisdom from here. Oh. Weather started to turn for the worst. Still got it. The peak of Mount Maraboshi. It was here that the Vault Hunter would find true cowboy wisdom. The Vault Hunter laid out the hearts of the slain badasses in offering. The Father of Eagles, keeper of true cowboy wisdom, emerged from his throne cave. Oh crap! A bird?! I hate birds! Big ones, little ones, doesn't matter! But especially big ones! The Father of Eagles was pleased with the offering of hearts, but demanded the Vault Hunter offer up their own hearts and the dark secrets within. There, at the top of all things, the Vault Hunter atoned for their sins. Ah, uh, okay. One time I was dating someone and there was a show we watched together, but I saw the finale without her. There, I said it. The Father of Eagles gazed into the Vault Hunter's heart cave and saw true darkness. He attacked. I knew this was gonna happen! I knew it! Just like that, the Father of Eagles was dead. Its glorious boon fell to the ground. <laughs> Quest complete, it was time to return to McSmugger, wisest cowboy to ever walk the land. They briefly considered refusing to return, but then did it anyway. Sliding towards wisdom, it was magical, but how to heal one's raw, slow-burned backside? Vault Hunter hoped McSmugger held the answer to that and other questions. Ah. Ah, the hero returns from beyond the threshold. Mosey on over, kid. So, what'd you find? Or should I ask, what found you? I found the kind of inner peace that only comes from killing a big-ass bird. So... You have found true cowboy wisdom. Then your journey is complete, and now you are McSmugger, the wisest cowboy ever to walk the land. Time for me to mosey on. So he was real after all. A real arsehole? <laughs> nah, 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 he seemed all right. Also, I've learned nothing.
got a death wish! of town and just didn't have it in me to leave it to suffering. Bella was my best friend, until Sheriff said she was too dangerous. So I let her loose in the forest. Hardest day of my life. Now that Sheriff's gone, though, I'd love to get her back. That old crone Oletta should know where Bella's at. Oh, Oletta, do you know where Titus's girl Bella's at? Of course I do. She's at Ginfor Grotto. I've got some foraging to do, so I'll take you to Bella's den. Try and keep up. Well? Ooh. Oh, there you are. You ready to find Bella? It was a real sorry sight the day Titus came to release Bella. Waterworks like you wouldn't believe. That boy's got a soft spot in him. Too soft for Gehenna, anyway. But I saw how he doted on her, and well, I can't say it wasn't endearing. As it turned out, Oletta wasn't all hard edges after all. Imagine that. Don't ask. Wasn't planning on it? Don't want to know. There are some mysteries we ain't meant to know. You'll need to draw Bella out of her lair. Get some prime devil meat as a lure. There are some feisty devils that dwell in the cave system up ahead. Magnificent specimens. Butcher them for some grade A devil steaks. Careful, though. Some are radioactive as nuclear waste. And the others are coursing with electricity. Take your pick, because Bella ain't exactly picky. Bella was a runt when Titus set her loose. I didn't think she'd last a day. But now she's made of herself a matriarch. Girl's got some fight in her, no question. We'll see how she reacts to you. No problem. <laughs> It's 
center. A fight. Radioactive meat didn't look too appetizing to the Vault Hunter, but what did they know about the Bellic's diet? <laughs> the Vault Hunter knew what to do. It was time to draw Bella out of her lair. <laughs> they gathered up all the electrified meat, too. It's always nice to have options. They decided on the radioactive meat, looking to lure out little Bella. And what do you know? She took the bait. Now Bella seemed friendly enough, but would she take to Titus's scent after all these years? Vault Hunter placed the pants on the ground. Titus's pants smelled like dreams deferred and a yearning for something lost. Also, days old hotcakes for some reason. Looks like she missed Titus as much as he missed her. But the local Bellocks didn't take too kindly to their matriarch turning her back on like that. Seemed like she was following a scent on the breeze. Hell of a nose on those bellocks. Vault Hunter tailed her to make sure she made it. You couldn't hit a cow's arse with a banjo! Also my middle name. <laughs> Look at you, girl. What a specimen. But there's someone back in town who misses you. You remember Titus, don't you? Another pair of Titus's pants! What is going on with you?! Hey, I said don't ask, didn't I? You ready to go, girl? Huh. So the old girl actually understands you, or what? Let's just say it's part of my charm. At any rate, I'm sure Titus will appreciate what you've done. I'll pick up the reward from Titus when I get into town. Here's your cut. Let's go, Bella. You haven't forgotten your way back to town, have you?
Come on. First! Can I return to my... Walking out of here alive, you greedy sow. I know you done. Here I was, thinking this fib and fester cock was my best friend. Then I go and take a gander at the back of my eyelids for a spell, and she ups and steals all the damn beans. Probably because she wants to bake them like a savage. Don't you give a chitlin' of wit to this no good, cheap shot and chiseler. I ain't eating no damn refried beans, so she done stole them and trying to pin the deed on me. Oh, beans are just lovely. I get it, girls, but before there's any bloodshed, let me have a bit of a look around. Fine. Mighty fine. Exceptionally fine. Fine times infinity. Damn. Shame to see friends at each other's throats like that. But I suppose some things are worth fighting for. Maybe even dying for. <laughs> Lucky what we got here then. A lead! And it sure don't look like a person tar into him. <laughs> Some bean hungry beasts were clearly on the prowl. The vault hunter followed the trail of lost legumes. <laughs> Reba and Betty were famous, you know, and not just for their constant feuding either. Back in town, they were known as the Bean Queen. Folks said you ain't never really tasted beans until you try them that come from the Queens. <laughs> ah, shame to see so many beans wasted like this. I don't blame the girls for being so upset about it. Don't say I didn't warn ya! Come on, come on!
trail of cans better lead somewhere good. Like a pot of gold. Or beans. No! Golden beans. The Vault Hunter ventured into the beast's lair, hoping to recover some of those precious beans. Turns out them bean queens weren't the only bean fans in the forest. They were bean-hungry devils who weren't likely to relinquish their prize. And there were a whole mess of them. Waited at the end of the slaughter. Maybe them two girls didn't need to trade barbs after all. Yeesh. Only one can left. Them ladies are gonna be at each other's throats all over again. The Vault Hunter was right about that. You better damn well hope they come back with them beans or you're done for you. Aye, enough of all that now! I've got this one last can of beany goodness right here, and I'll make the call on it. Get me? Better you than her, I reckon. Choose wisely. Fine by me, long as you make the right call. It was a tough call for the Vault Hunter, but an important decision. Probably the most important bean-centric decision they'd ever make. Oh, I'm gonna refry those little suckers till they don't know what's what. No! I'll bike them till they're good and baked! Ah! I knew you had the look of a clever one! Baked beans, here I come! Owen Reba! Suck a railroad spike! Now, bike, you beauties! Oh, I am not having this! I reckon it's time for us to throw down, stranger! Pull your puncher and get ready to get got! Fine! Mighty fine! You win, okay? I yield. Don't worry, Tomodachi, I got you! Now, I'm feeling downright soured in all this fussing and fighting with you. You're my best friend, Reba. Let's not let beans come between us. And here, I saved you some. I'd like that. Thank you for helping us get back on track, stranger. Our kinship ain't never been more fierce, thanks to you. Now come on, Betty. Let's rest up. Then, after all these years, we're finally gonna do it. <gasps> you mean it? That's right. We'll head back to town and finally open up that restaurant we always talked about. I'm in, Reba. I'm so in. Beans, huh? What can't they do?
work with that. <laughs> After the dog deed, Rami's buddies, well, they're <laughs> spooked. Few of them clean up and disappear. And yeah, you guessed it. Each one of them bastards was found hat and head in the vast. Nothing beneath them but dirt. And so, legend of the meat man was born. A restless spirit out for vengeance on wicked folk walking alone in the vast. <laughs> well now, that should just about... I'll do the trick. <sighs> Those'll do just fine. Next, we're gonna need the head of a Belek. But not just any Belek, mind you. It's gotta be the... Hey! Over here! Please help me. I beg you. I require your assistance. You're that bounty hunter, right? Oh, thank heavens. It's my wife. Carolina, she's been kidnapped by a band of devil riders. They're after her mechanical engineering skills. I've tracked them this far, but I'm afraid I can go no further. I'm, well, a bit of a dandy, and they would kill me instantly. But you, you look like a tough... nugget. Yes, please find my poor gentle wife. You may be forced to get your hands dirty with blood. Devil rider blood. Oh, I'll do it with gusto. Gustav. Be wary. This gang is led by the notorious Boss Keem. A more brutal and terrible bandit I have never seen. Now that I've seen him, he would have killed me. Instantly. Damn shame to lose your wife to a pack of animals like the Devil Riders. Looks like it was time to rescue a damsel. Bloody eyes! Don't say I didn't warn you! I ain't ever been shot, and I don't plan on starting today! You <laughs> hear? Cowards have their uses. Time to ask after this boss Keem. Where's your boss Keem? Tell me, and maybe I won't shoot you. No, boss? The boss is, uh, yeah! Boss is in uh, Lab 422! Uh, are you, are you gonna let me go now? Vault Hunter had a feeling the coward was holding out. Pressed him a little harder. Not letting you go just yet. What are y'all doing in this lab anyway? We was working on making the devils even deadlier. Crafting guns under their domes and whatnot. I swear that's all I know! 
Lab 422, the coward said. Carolina would be there. Vault Hunter got a move on. Probably guess how well that turned out for the Devil Riders. Vault Hunter had a habit of breaking things that weren't meant to be broke. Wasn't gonna stop now. Okay, listen up, but don't stop fighting. Clever left cage 37 open? Come see me if you're alive. They say there ain't nobody that can keep a vault hunter out that wants to get in. Reminder, lock the damn cages after you feed the odd man to devils. We shouldn't have to say this, people. They're after the experiments. Don't let them leave here alive and save the old devils. to their heads. Probably a good thing they never made it into the wild, but can I be honest? It was pretty cool. That's it, intruder! This is where your laboratory destroying reign of terror is! Boss Keem was getting desperate and sent out her elite squad of scientists for some damn reason. woman walked in, a luminosity to her eyes. Something about those eyes kept the vault hunter from shooting her dead. Oh no! What did you do to my sweet augmented devils? They didn't hurt anybody. I mean, they were going to, eventually. But they hadn't yet. Oh, this is... Looking to rescue our last name, Carolina. What did you do with her? Quick now, before my finger slips. Whoa, hey, calm it down. There's clearly been a misunderstanding here. I am Carolina. What? But you, but she, what the heck is going on here? Look, my life back in Vestige was duller than a ten-year-old spoon, okay? I was going stir-crazy, and I guess, I just thought I could make a more exciting life for myself out here with the Devil Riders. Your man Gustav is pulling his hair out worrying about you, you know that? Poor bastard thinks you got yourself kidnapped. Gustav. Oh, my dandy of a husband. He sent you to rescue me, huh? Interesting. 
Maybe he does care about more than mustache wax and silk ascots. But I got a good gig here. Did you see those devils with the guns? Ah, oh, shoot. I can't decide. Listen, I know I just met you, but can you help me decide the fate of my life? Not gonna lie, I am pretty into your augmented devils thing, but your boy Gustav really misses you. I think you should go back to him. <sighs> You're right. I guess he doesn't deserve to be abandoned like that. Besides, gang life isn't all it's cracked up to be. I mean, I can't tell you how badly I want a bath. Oh, with a megaton bath bomb? Yeah, come on this way. Go and tell Gustav that I'm alive. Give me a second to mourn the augmented devil-filled life that might have been. Hey, gunslinger. Is she with you? I don't see her. Carolina? Carolina? She's okay, boyo. Oh, Carolina? Wanna come on down? Gustav! I can't believe you came for me! Sort of! I mean, where did you find the bravery to hire a gun-toting stranger-slash-maniac to come save me? Your love gives me all the bravery I need, Carolina. I'd hire another gun-toting stranger-slash-maniac again in a heartbeat. <laughs> Anything for you, my love. And, Bounty Hunter, thank you for your aid. I am forever in your debt. We'll head back to town as soon as it's safe to do so. Do you accept payment in the form of lightly scented silk handkerchiefs? No? Well, I suppose this will have to do then. Oh, Carolina, I was so scared. I'm sorry I worried you, dear. You have nothing to apologize for, Carolina. Yes. Yes, I do. What do you mean? Look, I'll explain everything when we get back to town, okay? Let's just go home. Of course, as soon as it's safe. Whatever it is, though, I'm sure we can make it through this, together. Oh, why would I ever think of leaving such a wonderful man? I'm sorry. What was that about leaving me? Oh, uh, nothing, dear. I was totally, definitely kidnapped. Now that we're reunited, I say we make sure to live life to the fullest. Really spice things up. Gustav, really? Yes! A million times yes! Let's add a machine shop to the house! With a munitions depot! Oh, I was thinking more like a new duvet cover. But, uh, of course! Whatever you desire. Perhaps we can repurpose my cummerbund chamber. Anything for you. And if that boss Keem ever comes for you again, I'll hire another gun-toting stranger-slash-maniac in a heartbeat. Oh, you... so sweet. <laughs> 